What's going on YouTube, Mr. 1T back with another video you guys and in today's video we're going to be opening up a Japanese Sun and Moon era booster box you guys. In English it's known as Tag Team or Team Up and in Japanese it's actually called Tag Bolt and as you can see on the cover we have Pikachu and Zekrom. It comes in a full art, full art rainbow and there's also cards like Gengar and Mimikyu, uh, Latios and Latias. Snorlax and Eevee tag teams. So there are a lot of cards in this set. There's even a Charizard Hollow rare, just a rare Hollow card. Um, so we're gonna open up this box. Uh, Sun and Moon number nine, as you can see right there. Tag Team GX. Um, let's see what comes inside. You get thirty packs, five cards per pack, and I don't, I don't think you get, I don't think you're guaranteed a rare hollow in every pack as well so let's see if we can get through the entire box in under 20 minutes all right let's see look at that on the side we got gyarados Mankey. we got executor and, and execute so let's get right into it no funny business let's just get right into this box before we get into this box actually i just want to give a huge shout out to Corey. thank you so much Corey actually bought this box for me to open up on the channel so shout out to you, Corey. I really appreciate that. Always very nice um, to receive stuff like that from people to open up for content on the channel. Uh, I've been really busy. I've actually had this box with me for a few months now. Just haven't had time to open it. They're so difficult to open up from there. But here is the inside of the box. I'm gonna get out all, all 30 packs, you guys. Like I said, <clears throat> We're going to try and open up every single one of these packs. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Um, I had a pretty good weekend myself. We got to stream on Friday and then uh, on Saturday, I actually went to a card store. Uh, the same one that I did my vlog in the other day. And while I was over there, me and my friends were uh, looking through my binder. I improved my binder a lot. Uh, I'll have to show it for you guys sometime in the future. When it's complete, it's not complete yet. Um, so yeah, I actually met some kids there that were into Pokemon. They were like really young. So it was really, really nice to see uh, new um, different kids that, you know, of all ages into Pokemon. They had their binders. They said they loved Japanese cards. So I made sure to hook them up with some Japanese um, holographic cards. So starting off, we got a Nidoran uh, Nidorino. I believe that's the female version. We got a Charmeleon, very, very, very good artwork right there. We got a Hitmon Lee. Hopefully, I can remember all the names. We got oh, we got the Execute and Executor, or it's just um, I think it's Execute, and then that's the Pokemon, and then Executor, or maybe it's Executor because it has the evolution sign right there. And oh, uh, so we got the Whistle. I believe this Whistle is also like an ultra rare, like a full art gold card, possibly. So let us go on to the next pack. Like I said, in the Japanese sets, you're not always guaranteed even a rare. So, you know, it, it, the, the packs go by a lot faster. So let's see if we can get something out of these 30 packs. Oh my gosh, there's even a Squirtle in the set. Holy chicken on a stick. We got a Grimer, Rapidash, just a common. We got like some city... Looks very uh, scary, ominous skies. Oh my gosh, what do we have back here? We have a Blastoise out of the second pack. Oh snap, you guys, that is awesome. Chicken on a stick. Let's get him in a sleeve right away. Look at that Blastoise hollow. Looks like he's using like hydro pump or something. Very, very, very nice. Holy chicken. All right, we're gonna do this onto pack. What is this, pack number three? Okay. Trying something different. Just cutting the tops of the packs. All right, pack number three starts us off with a far-fetched. And there's a beautiful Psyduck just enjoying a bath in the water. Gotta love Psyduck. He's always kind of clueless of what's going on around him. He's just kind of living life. Got a far-fetched Tentacruel. Oh, there's that Psyduck enjoying the swim in the ocean. Got a Mr. Mime. Parasect, oh, that is the final card. I always get confused and forget that it is only five cards. Uh, I'm so used to 
the English sets where you have like 10 cards, 11 cards, stuff like that. So let's see what we can get at the out of the next pack. Super excited for Evolving Skies coming out in August. Um, we got a Weedle with a Slackoth in the background, literally just slacking, not giving a care in the world. We got a Voltorb. Uh, I don't know what these are called, but if I, um, I'll have to look it up after the video and see the name of it. Oh my gosh, we already got a Tag Team GX. We got the Whale Lord and Magikarp Tag Team GX Duo Fish Pokemon. Oh my goodness, the Whale Lord looks like he's had enough of Magikarp, and he's about to swallow him up. Oh baby, what a way to start the video, you guys. Just an, a regular rare rare Tag Team GX. That's how they label them, RR Regular Rare. That is awesome. Wow, we're getting a lot of Water-type Pokemon. Super, super excited to see what else we can get. The Rare Hollow Charizard actually looks pretty cool in this set. So hopefully we can also pull that card. Oh my gosh, we even got the War Turtle. Let me just do this. One from the back. All right, start us off with a War Turtle. Pidgey, Vulpix, a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon. Oh, we got Brock. I believe there's Brock's Grit Full Art Trainer in this set as well. And Erica's Suggestion. There is a Cynthia Full Art, a Volkner Full Art. Ooh, we got an Alolan... Alolan Golem. Alolan Golem. It's a little bit of a twister right there. Electric and Rock. Scary. All right, pack number... I don't even know what we're at right now. But we've already pulled ourselves a full art uh, tag team GX. We got a Hitmonchan, Golduck, Nidoran Male, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. I get confused. Pidgey, Pidgeot, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. Or Pidgey, Pidgeot, Pidgeotto. I don't know. And, oh, we got Erica's suggestion. As the rare holographic, you guys, look at that. This is a reprint of another uh, set, like a older set, I believe. Oh, let me uh, let me put this in the correct way. I'm using the penny sleeves right now, um, just because if I were to use the perfect fit sleeves, this video would take forever because sometimes they they are actually way too perfect fit, like tight, tight, tight sleeves, and it just takes so much time to put them in the sleeves. So, for the sake of today's video, I'm just gonna. Use the regular old sleeves, the penny sleeves. So we got a Paris looking at some mushrooms. Oh, we got the Magikarp. He's probably running away from Whale Lord. We got the beautiful Charmander. It's like he first found out about his tail flame and he's like, oh my gosh. That's what I have? We got a Charmander, Beedrill, and uh, the Nido, Nido Queen rare, non holographic, just an uncommon. On to the next pack, you guys. Not too bad so far. The pulls have been, uh, you know, hit or miss. Every few packs, it seems like we will be getting a hit. We got an Execute, a Lolan uh, Graveler. He's got a lot of uh, cutie flies on him. Do you guys see that? That is pretty interesting. Can y'all see me okay? All right. We got a Dratini, Nine Tails, and. Oh, we are killing it with the water type Pokemon, you guys. We just pulled ourselves a Gyarados Rare Holographic. Take a look at that. Wow, that is so nice. That is three water type Pokemon pulls. Oh my God, did I just cut the card? <gasps> oh no, oh no, I just cut the cards. Oh my God. Oh my God, I was rushing too much. Holy, oh my god, look at that, I cut that card. Thank goodness it's only, unfortunately, I'm so sorry, Meow. Oh no. We'll put one to the front. Good thing I didn't cut the rare. Oh my gosh, imagine if it's like a secret rare too. Holy chicken, we got a Ponyta, Weedle, Muck. Oh god, and an Ultra Ball. Holy chicken on a stick, you guys. I'm so sorry, I need to be more careful. I guess that card got stuck towards the front of the pack. Oh my goodness, that was... I'm so sorry, you guys. I have never done that before. Ay yeah, yeah. imagine if that was something really, really good. I would have been so upset. We got a Jinx, make an appearance. 
Pidgeotto? I don't know. Please correct me in the comments. Kakuna? Rope? Maybe Escape Rope? <gasps> oh my gosh, we got the Erica's Suggestion Full Art Trainer. Secret Rare, 107 out of 95. OMG. Look at this beautiful, beautiful Erica. That is such a beautiful card. This is the card, one of the cards you want to get in a full art trainer. I think it used to be very expensive when it was released. But of course, this was back from the Sun and Moon era. But then again, oh my god, this could have been the card that I cut. Oh, chicken. Wow. Look at that. The Japanese cards are usually going to be a lot better centering on the backside. This card is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. So we've gotten a secret rare and one tag team GX. Holy smokes. Make sure I don't cut the cards. Okay, we're good. We're good. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. In the box break, in case some of you guys weren't there, I did mention that I do want to open up some really, really vintage Pokemon packs once we hit 6,000 subscribers. So I'm really counting on you guys to help us get to that mark, that, that milestone. We're at 5,400. That is a lot of subscribers already. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you guys. Oh, so that is the Cynthia and... Ooh, we got an uncommon Kangaskhan. Uh, we're at 5,400. Just need 600 more. Uh, and we'll open up some vintage packs, like super vintage. Like, like first edition Neo Destiny booster pack. Dragon Frontiers EX booster pack. Uh, I'll, I'll get myself some more booster packs as time goes by when we almost get to 6,000 subs. And I'll also be doing a massive giveaway for you guys. So... A lot to come once we hit that number. We've got a Root Fossil, Charmeleon, Kabuto, Amistar, Rare Holographic. I actually really like this. Yo, I'm digging this holo. Amistar is usually like a water type Pokemon. But here in this set, they have him as like a fighting. Look at that. Look at his eyes. He is a scary Pokemon. I wouldn't want to run into him in a cave. <laughs> okay. Let's get these cards at the bottom. But yeah, you guys, we're at 5,400 right now. I think the next box we will be doing is the Celestial Storm. I'm going to have a poll up right now. If you guys haven't checked already, go to the community tab on my YouTube channel. There is a poll. I'm leaving it up to you guys again to vote for what you want to see. Uh, of course, I have Vivid Voltage Booster Box, Celestial Storm, and a Forbidden Light. Forbidden Light and Celestial Storm are both were both short printed. And like I feel like a lot of people just didn't really care for the sets when they were released. They kind of like forgot about them. But Celestial Storm has a lot of nice cards like Rayquaza, uh, Blaziken. I believe it has a Celebi. And a lot of beautiful full art trainers. Like the full art trainers go a long way. So, oh my gosh, there's two artworks of Charmander. No way, this guy looks so derpy. What is this? This looks like, this looks like a fake Charmander. Like, you know how like Ditto looks on Charmander? And the other Charmander looked like the actual Charmander. But this one looks a lot weirder. We got a Nidoran, uh, Nidoran female Dragonair. Judge Whistle or Judge something. And another uh, tree Pokemon with the coconuts on his head. On to the next one, you guys. We are actually flying by this box. I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of myself because every time I say, oh, let's make this video in under whatever... It never is, and then it just goes way too long. And it's just it's such a headache to try and edit it and then get it, like, uploaded. Unless I'm doing something wrong. We got Alolan Geodude. We got the Mankey from the cover box. We got the Star Me. Very, very nice. Oh, we got the Hacky Sack looking Electrode. Yo, I will take that. I love the goofy looking artworks. I love the creativity the Japanese do with the cards. Look at that. He looks like a... He doesn't even look like a real Pokeball. He looks like a like one of those hacky sacks you play with with your friends to see how many times you can kick the ball in the air without letting letting it fall to the ground. I was never really good at that. I think my, my max is like six or seven, which is not bad for someone that just doesn't do it. But like I know people can go on for like 20 minutes doing it. Okay, next pack. We got Squirtle having a nap. The bird... Tentacool, the tower. Yes, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this card, you guys. We just pulled the Snorlax and Eevee full art 
Tag Team GX. Yo, these are fan favorite Pokemon that we're pulling right now. Snorlax, a lot of people love Snorlax. And Eevee, especially right now with that new release of the Eevee Heroes set and coming soon to the English set. Holy chicken on a stick, you guys. Take a look at that. Look at that. Wow. Looks like they're falling. And, or Snorlax is like waking up and Eevee was sleeping on his belly and she's falling off or something. Something funny and goofy going on here. There's always something, there's always a story behind these cards. Oh man, love that. We got two tag team Pokemon cards so far. That is really, really good. Hopefully we can get some more before the end of the opening. All right, next pack. We have an Alolan Geodude, Charmeleon. Let's get the Charizard, Rare Candy, and a Kangaskhan. Like I said, you guys, it's it, it keeps you it keeps you wanting to open open these packs because not every pack you are even getting a rare. You know what I mean? Like like the Japanese are saving you time pretty much because in the English set you get a bunch of like reverse cards and it's just like I don't want these reverse you know random cards and non non hollow rares. Like nobody does anything with the non hollow rare modern cards. Like you cannot make if you're trying to make profit you can't okay we got a pincer first pincer of the video and oh we got a like a water patch i believe it's called like water patch if not i'll have the corrected name on the screen displayed like right here but it looks like two patches of water it is a trainer card trainer rare 92 out of 95 so very very interesting the versatility of uh hollows we're getting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve wow so more than halfway of the box has been opened up you guys we are making really really good time but yeah you guys i really i mean you know sooner or later we'll get to six thousand subs but i want to open up some really really vintage packs but i need a reason to i can't just like i can't like you know i'm married i have a house I have a mortgage. I have a lot of stuff going on, personal life. But, like, at the same time, I really want to open up some vintage packs. But I've learned to, like, kind of control myself a bit because I used to just open vintage packs all the time. Back when they were, like, reasonably priced. But now everything is different, so I, just, I can't just do that every single video. Got a Mr. Mime? Oh, that is the uncommon. Okay, that was the last card. So, yeah, I, you know, if you guys want to see some vintage content, I know my channel is heavily based around the vintage aspect. I do have a special mystery box coming to the channel. It should be here in the next few days, and I'll get it recorded and upload it maybe the following week, maybe next Monday. Uh, we got Electrode. Uh, sorry, we got Voltorb, uh, Golduck, Nidoran Male, Ninetales, and a, not a duplicate? No way. I usually don't get duplicates in the Japanese sets. Ah, chicken on a stick. We will take it, though. Goes really nice in a binder. It's just like different cards you don't see every day in people's binders here here in America at least. Um but yeah, like what was I saying? I have a vintage not vintage. I have a mystery box on the way. And the seller has a really really nice eBay page. I will be linking it in the channel. Um shouting him out. We got an Alolan Graveler, Psyduck, Persian I think I see something. The ankle bracelet or something. What is this? Oh, we pulled the Charizard. Let's go. That is what's up. I just saw TCA Gaming buying this card in a PSA 10 not too long ago, you guys. I think it was one of the last ones he needed for his collection. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. If I could get a duplicate card, I would definitely want a duplicate Charizard rare holographic. Oh my goodness. The centering is a little off from uh, right to left, but that is fine. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy we pulled that. That was one of the cards that I originally wanted to get. And of course, I, I kind of want the Gengar and Mimikyu tag team GX card. Because, I mean, Gengar is just such a menace. Such a beautiful Pokemon. I love all the ghost Pokemon. All right, here we go. Next pack, we got a Dragonair, Magikarp, Charmander, Judge uh, Referee or something, and another plant-type tree Pokemon. 
All right, you guys, we are actually down to the last few packs. We got maybe like six or seven. Maybe we'll just like open two at a time. If I don't cut two at a time. If I don't cut the cards. Okay, but don't worry, you guys. As soon as Evolving Skies comes out, I pre-ordered four boxes. As soon as the set comes out and they arrive to my house, we will be doing a live box break of the of one of the boxes, and I'll sell them to you guys at fair price, so that way everyone can get a chance. Ooh, our first Aerodactyl! So that way everyone can get a chance at getting some of the packs, because I feel like it's going to be a really hyped up set and hard to find, so that would be a lot of fun to open up. And then maybe I'll open up one box for myself on the channel. All right. We are down to the last six packs. We got Tentacruel, Staryu, Ponita, Parasect, and another Gyarados. Oh my goodness. I will definitely take this duplicate. One of the kids that I met yesterday at the card store, he loved Gyarados. So I, I made sure to hook him up with a Gyarados from Jim, from, from like Wizards of the Coast Japanese era. Like uh, Jim Heroes, Misty's Gyarados. I gave him, I gave him that rare hollow. So if you're watching this, I believe his name was TJ. Thank you so much for letting me share my collection with you guys, you and your siblings. We got a Voltorb. Uh, this is not Erica. This is Sabrina. Sabrina is something. Ooh, let's go. I'll take it. We got an Articuno Rare Holographic. Yo, these hollows are clean. Wow, a lot of water type Pokemon. Next pack, what can we get? Can we get another tag team Pokemon? There's also Latias and Latios tag team GX in this set. We've pulled it on the English side. We just still need to pull it in the Japanese. We got Grimer, Primeape, and a Lapras. Another beautiful Pokemon. Look at that. Lapras is chilling on the sand, <laughs> enjoying the sunset. Aw, poor Lapras. All right, you guys, four more packs to go. Let's start with the back and work our way up. Pack number four. I, I still can't believe I cut that meow. I'm so sorry. All right, you guys, Nidoran Mail, Kakuna. There's that meow. Oh my gosh, I just apologized to meow. And there he was. We got an Ammonite and like a computer screen. Not too sure. Maybe that's like the Poké Center or something like that. Three more packs to go. Come on. Oh, why am I bleeding? That is strange. <laughs> Should I cut myself or something? I don't know. I have no idea, you guys. Only two Tag Team GX cards out of 30 packs. Come on, let's get one more. All right. Third to last pack, we got a Hitmonchan, Magikarp, Nidorino, Nidorina, a female, um, some forest, maybe like a training spot, and oh, I see something. Oh! Oh my gosh, you guys, we got the Celebi Venusaur or Venusaur Celebi Tag Team GX. I am speechless. I wasn't expecting to get this card. Venusaur looking very fierce. He is literally like protecting the Celebi. Actually, the Celebi looks like she's protecting the Venusaur. She's like grabbing on his vine. Wow. That's what's up, man. I'm so happy. So far, we've gotten three Tag Team gx cards look at these wow wow gen 1 gen 1 magikarp gen 1 venusaur gen 1 so that is super awesome wow and we still have two more packs i don't know the pull ratios for these japanese sets i haven't opened up enough to be able to logistically say oh like you're guaranteed to get this or you know Second to last pack, you guys. Come on, fingers crossed we can get something. We've got a Jinx. I'll take a rare hollow. Dratini, Taurus, and Bill's Maintenance. Bill's Maintenance? Or Bill's Analysis. Bill's Analysis. Dude, how do I know all these names? It's opening up too many packs. That's how. Oh my goodness. I used to not, I used to just be like, oh, uh, person writing and book. Like now I, I know them. That's when you know you're a Pokemon trainer. You can literally, you don't even need them in English to know the names. 
All right, last pack, you guys. Come on, let's finish strong with another holographic card or better. All right, last pack. Execute. Alolan Graveler. Squirtle. Jumping for joy. Maybe we're going to get something. Maybe we can get the Blastoise again. Ooh, another new one. Kabutops. And then for the final card, ah, we got the bird. Chicken on a stick, you guys. Literally chicken. Like quail. Quail on a stick. Pidgeotto on a stick. Pidgeot on a stick. Whatever you want to call them. That is totally fine with me. I don't judge. Uh, let us go over the polls really quick, you guys. I Just before we end the video. Oh, chicken. Come here, Erica. Okay. All right. So out of... Uh, let me just count them real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, sorry. Ten, eleven. So we got eleven rare holographic cards out of thirty packs. We got Bill's analysis, Articuno rare hollow. We got a Gyarados, the beautiful Charizard. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky to have pulled this out of this one box. We got two Gyarados, two Electrodes. I believe this is Water Patch. Again, I will show it on the screen. Another Hacky Sack Pokeball. We got an Amistar. Erica's uh, suggestion or Erica's. We just got Erica in a garden, you know? I mean, like, look at her just enjoying the flowers. We got the Blastoise and the Venusaur and the Charizard in one box opening. We got three Tag Team GX cards, you guys. The Eevee and Snorlax Tag Team GX, Whale Lord and Magikarp, and, of course, the Venusaur and Celebi Tag Team GX. Honestly, which one is you guys, which, which one do you guys like the most out of these three right here? Out of these three legends, which one? which one are you going with? If you had one choice... I think I would go with, personally, I think I would go with the Venusaur and Celebi. Just because, like, Celebi is kind of like a mythic legendary Pokemon. And Venusaur, he's just so n nostalgic to me. Uh, and they're both grass, so I'm going to have to go with that. If not, then I would have to go Snorlax and Eevee. I don't know. What is Magikarp going to do for me? You know? But you guys let me know down below which one you guys would pick between these three. And, of course, we actually got so lucky with a secret rare out of one box, we got, I believe this is Erica's suggestion. Again, I will correct myself on the screen with the price. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Actually, I don't know how long it is. Oh, shoot. 27 minutes? Chicken on a stick. Maybe I can cut some stuff out. But again, you guys, let me just show you real quick. Since we're at 27 minutes, I guess it doesn't matter now. Um, I want to open up. I want to crack these up for you guys. I want. I really want to. But I'm, I'm holding myself from doing that until we hit 6,000 subscribers. As you guys already know, we did pull the Gold Star Charizard out of one of these packs. Um, and this is a Gem Mint 10 pack, whatever that means. Um, so we can pull another Gold Star, or maybe we can get the Mew Gold Star. And in this this set right here, this beautiful set in front of me, we've pulled two Shining Pokemon, two Shining Noctowls. This is a first edition pack as well. So... I don't know, even if it's a light pack, we have a chance at getting that shining Pokemon. Like shining Charizard, shining Mewtwo, shining Raichu, shining uh, Tyranitar, shining Kabutops. There are so many shining Pokemon in the set. I mean, there has to be one in that pack. I just feel it. That's why I want to open it up so bad. If not, I probably would have kept it sealed or sold it by now. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. It really means a lot. And hit that sub button if you're not subscribed already. Uh, just another thing. Go to the community page and vote for next week's booster box break. We have Forbidden Light, Celestial Storm, and Vivid Voltage. So please let me know, and that way I can start selling some packs for you guys. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. See you Wednesday. Mr. 1T signing out. Peace!